Before we go, we're gonna show you our little, our new little, as Nick calls it, our new little pet. Here he goes. And then 95 starts. Right, we've got to the park. It's a little bit breezy, but so everything- So you got an ice cream to warm yourself up. <laughs> Everything's okay, cause we got an ice cream. Morning, morning. Morning, sweet pea. Fake yogurt for you. Why? Cause it's open. Yeah. And I don't want to open another one. Welcome to New Vlog, guys. We have a, uh, a new little house guest to show you later today, don't it's we? a family member. It's yeah. a family member. So, um, coffee's on. Welcome to a new vlog. Um, just get the Disney mugs out. Nick's been trialling the new family member. Nick's been trialling? Why are you talking about yourself in third person? I'm just stating for the vlog. I've been trialling the new family member. You have. Um, he's called Edgar. Yeah, the sun's out. You'll understand why when we show you why he's called Edgar. There's a bit of a pun on the name there, so keep watching. Yeah. And then we might go out today because it's nice and sunny. Is it set to last? Um, it is actually. Good. It's going to be nice now for the next 10 days. Ooh, good. Right. What would you like, sir? Uh, number two, back and sides and cutting shorter-ish on top, but not too short. I can't get any shorter if you're bald. Uh. So we're just doing his hair quickly, hopefully. Um, hopefully. Maybe for the last time. Do they open again soon? 12th of April. Oh, thank God. Um, and then we've just got to nip out because we've, we've made a boo-boo. We've run out of toilet paper. You've been to too many poos and so used it all. We've got to go nip out to get some toilet paper and it's a beautiful day. We might go for a walk. I think the sunshine is in and I'm for the foreseeable. Yes. And then uh, Mike and I'm back and today then. Well then, when we get back, we'll show you our new little toy. Right, we're all done. We've, uh, hopefully that's our final cut. I still look like a, like a corpse. I need to shave. I need to exfoliate myself with that um, body shop stuff. You do. And um, you get this lot tidied up and I'll, um, I'll go and chill for a little while. Right, hair's all cut. Uh, the sun is still out, thank God. I've actually, I'm, I'm daring to go out in shorts today. Oh, bloody hell. Because it is really warm inside. It's really warm. Um, before we go, we're going to show you our little, our new little, as Nick calls it, our new little pet. It's a pet. Um, it's called so, Edgar. Yeah. And he um, is named, and you will understand why he's called Edgar when you see what he is. Yes. So Edgar is a robotic vacuum cleaner. Ta -da! Which we got kindly gifted by the people that distribute these. Yep. Um, he's robotic, he works with Alexa, which we're going to show you how he works shortly. You may have heard me saying that we were going to get this last year, but I think because of COVID and stuff like that, it got um, delayed. Uh, so here he is. We've Nick named him Edgar for J. Edgar Hoover. Um, you love the pun? Yes. <laughs> um, works with Wi-Fi and voice controls, so we've linked him to Alexa. Um, low 2.7 profile Edgar. design, so he goes under things like the um, TV cabinet. Super strong suction power um, and upgraded three-point cleaning system. The model is a BG800. Uh, so he has a basket, just like a little dog. <laughs> he has a little docking station. And when you tell him to go home, he literally scans the room yeah. with infrared or whatever, it, how it works, and he goes and packs himself and charges. Yeah. So I'm going to show you what's in the box. Yeah. But this is the actual unit. So as you can see underneath, it's got a little. Ignore the dust because we've been testing this. We um, were testing it all yesterday, as you yep. saw in the last vlog. So these are the charging points. Uh, the wheels go up and down, so it can adapt to any kind of pile thickness. This is a, a little brush that sweeps the muck into the centre bit where it sucks up like a traditional vacuum. And then underneath, he has a little hoover bag, or a hoover box, which is actually rammed. Yeah, you need to go Because in. we've actually done it on we've the upstairs been, carpet yeah. and the laminate down here, so he's, he is literally... Bless him, he's been going all over the, um, the bedroom carpet. Um, but we did test it yesterday in here, and he's worked pretty much perfectly. Um, Nick will show you, but he maps out where he's going and where he's been, so he doesn't go over it twice. I mean, it does go over it twice, it's sometimes. Yeah, there's an app on your phone, and he actually draws the room to show yeah. you where he's been. So let me just put that back in. Um, I haven't cleaned it all up, but obviously it's been on carpet, but uh, ignore the dust. These are little sensors when he bumps into things, so we know he can avoid them. And he goes and he hits things, but just gently, because it's like a rubber edge, yeah. so there's no marking. 
So this is everything that's, that came with it in the box. Now I'll basically tell him to go onto his docking station. So he'll now park himself, or should do. And then you get a little pulsing purple light. There we go, he's found Bless his, his so family basket. So this is uh, a border block. So it's like a magnetic tape type thing. If he sees that, he won't go past it. However, he won't actually go over the end of steps because there's a little sensor underneath. So if his, if his, oh, okay. if his end goes over, he sees that there's no floor. But we did stops. put that there yesterday just to test it. Didn't yeah, we? I mean, we're going to put it there where the wires are to stop him from going right, over okay, the wires. Okay. Um, spare brushes. It looks really complicated, but it's not. Spare filter for the, for the bag. A little brush to clean him. Little pads to stick this down. You can actually cut this sideways and horizontally. Um, a huge manual, which I glanced at briefly, but it's pretty much plug and go. And a remote control. Yeah. So we are gonna show you what it looks like using the app. And um, we've actually written an Alexa um, <laughs> Routine, yeah, which I'll start off and then we'll have to stop it because it's it's going to play a song and can't have a song blog. on with it. So, Alexa, vacuum the, the apartment. Here he goes, and the 95 starts. <laughs> Let me just stop this. But here he goes. So, as he's going now, he's creating a map on the app. Watch him stop. Look, is there we go. He checked the sofa. Oh, I'm scared of it going near. No, there. it won't. I've tested him. Go on, I'd get, get vacuumed up. So there we go. Look at this. While he's doing that, have a quick look at the app. Hang on, I just want to see him go towards the, the stairs. Oh, he can't fit down there. No. Nope. Oh, here he goes. What he's doing is he's mapping using the centre on the front. Here we go. Oh. And yeah, we'll do it in straight lines, so we will yeah. come back to that. Right, can you just film the app? So as you can see, um, it's called Edgar. He's got 50% battery. The batteries last about an hour of constant use. If I click map, you'll actually see, oh, wait a minute. You'll actually see the blue lines is where he's been and you can see there he's mapping things out. So he knows where he's been. Oh, one of you seen near the steps. He shouldn't go over. Oh, there you go. There no, we go. He's not doing it. He's a good boy. And then, um, as you can see, you can control things like the suction. So if I want to increase the suction, and listen that, Oh yeah. So that increases the suction power, so it's obviously for bigger pile carpets. Now for this room it took him about 30 minutes to map it all out. Which is not bad because you can you obviously don't have to do it, you just sit down and he gets on with it. We're actually going to take him to the lodge with us. Yeah we are, but better at the lodge because we've got no steps and I'll never have to vacuum ever again. So we've actually done in here, so what I'm going to do now on the app is I'm just going to tell him to go home. So now what he'll do is he'll actually send either a pulse out or whatever, but he finds the docking station and then he'll go and wiggle his backside on it and charge. And yesterday the battery started going, didn't it? So he just automatically went back yeah. to his, his... There we go. There if he knows he's going to go flat, he'll go back for a charge and he'll sit on there. It does actually take about three hours to charge it, but it lasts a full hour. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, he's a good boy, isn't he, Edgar? So, um, so, so we've yeah. tested him in here, it was fine. He did all the rug yesterday. Um, this morning, Nick had him um, going around the bedroom. bedroom. Well, uh, Nick was in bed and I was editing, so he, he did all the all the bedroom. He did get caught in the curtains. Oh, did he? Yeah. The, he went under the curtains and the weight of the curtain pushed him down to the floor and it couldn't move. Yeah, okay. So um, We'll show you even more when we get back. We're gonna nip out now, the sun's out, and we're gonna pick up some toilet paper from somewhere. Uh, but it'll stay there now and be charging charge. well, when we get back and then we'll show you him upstairs in the bedroom. We are going to mount him under here. We're going to put the docking station under yeah. the TV yeah. here. So that it's permanently sort of like, an, well, until we go back to the lodge because he's going yeah, back we'll, to the lodge we'll with us. Well, yeah, that's true. What we'll do is we'll put the docking station at the back and yeah. it actually comes up to there so yeah. we can actually go under all the furniture, under yeah. here, under the table. It can't get under the uh, sofa, which is a real yeah, shame because I'd love him to go under there and get all that. Um, but if you've got a higher sulfur, then it will be able to. So we will put the link to yep. this product on our uh, in the description below, yep. and it will also be on our Amazon storefront as well. But um, well, it does look complicated, but it's not. It's really, really easy. And the fact that it links with Alexa is just a gadget nerdiness in me I that just love it. I just, that's the bit that I really love. I was looking forward to that coming last year. If you were with us last year, or was it last year? Some point last year, well, I last said, year said it's going to come. Ahead. Um, as I said before, we only say yes to things if we really want to look at them and own them, and I love that. So, right, Edgar, we're off out. We'll leave you charging, and um, we can we can actually make him hoover the apartment well, while we're, we're out. out. Yeah, and it, have it tidy when we get back. Yeah. Right, we're just gonna.
dip into a, uh, a home bargains or something like that. From bog roll? Yeah, they might, or home bargains. We're but, after bog roll, for some least we got it. Yeah. Well, no, we just didn't put any on order this week. Um, so we need some bog roll, and we decided because the sun's so nice and uh, warm today, it's 12 degrees outside, it's not too bad. While we're there, we're going to get a little a few bits for lunch, uh, some drinks, and have a little picnic outside um, on the grass somewhere. We'll find somewhere because you can do that now. So that'll be nice, won't it? Oh, it should be, as long as it doesn't rain. Yeah, as long as it's not too cold, but even if it is, at least it gets us out for a bit, some fresh air. I'm pretty sure now that this weather is set in for at least another two weeks. Thank God. So, um, and I've just, also, also, can I just say, I've just booked our um, return to the lodge. Oh yeah. Um, we are going to go when it's oh, allowed. Go. We're going to go when it's allowed to do with the de-winterisation. Yeah, to for get one prepped. day. We, yeah. we can't stay over, but you can go back and you can book a day in and go back and just get your lodge ready for when you can go back and stay the week after. So I've booked that. Um, potentially the new thing will be um, revealed when we go back or if not it'll be revealed the day after we get back to the lodge. Okay. And all these things exciting, great, fantastic and uh, brilliant. What are you talking about? All these things that we're... The, Potential return to the lodge. Well, not potential. We are returning to the lodge. Well, Next week we have um, plans with friends and plans with family, and we've just booked a week in for some other friends to come and stay with us. Once you can like have overnight stays and stay inside people's houses. So is that from like the, is that from the seventeenth of May? No, no, uh, no. I think it's sometime in June. I think I oh, can't, you can't come then <laughs> because uh, she's booked it for May. No, no. no. Oh shit. No. Yeah. Anyway, we've sorted that out in diary. Um, so it's just nice to have plans again. It's like, ah, oh, thank God. It's been a long, hard winter for everybody. Five months of hell. Yeah, and um, you know, we're all safe. All family's safe, which is the, the, the most important bit, but um, it is starting to been drag much, now. It's been much harder than the yeah. first. I mean, it's been almost twice the length of the first lockdown. Yeah. Apart from we, apart from we had, everything was, on, I was, I was, everything was open in December for Christmas shopping. But there were still heavy restrictions. Restaurants, I think, were still closed and yeah. things like that. But for, for us, being away from the lodge, it's it's basically five months, this 159 afternoon, days. I'm going to start looking at my air transplant as well because, um, you know, once things get back to normal, I want my noggin all nice and done. I've just done it for you. Uh, right, let us go and get us lunch. Right, we're here at Castle Hill. We were hoping it would be quiet, although there was quite a few cars down there. And... Uh, Never been up this way before, but the road where we got stuck in Vlogmouth, when it was snowing, is closed. So we've come around the front to these 2,000 steps. It's a bit windy, uh, so I hope I get somewhere shaded. Uh. Oh. Oh. Hello, birdie. Yeah. Bird, you having a sing? We're going round then, not up to the castle. Right, time for a picnic. Fix them. Some hand sanitizers. Right, I'm talking. So I've got some skinny whips. They are some, gorgeous then. Yeah, chicken skewers. We've got a sandwich each and some disco crisps and some water. And we've got a uh, nice view of the car park there. But it's the, the best shared place here. So there's Castle Hill just there and um, got myself covered up nicely. And we got this throw from, where do we go? B&M. Mm -hmm. Home we baggage or something. We can use that for lodges. Yeah. Well. We've moved to the only, <laughs> the only place without wind, um, shielded by the actual um, tower. It's all quiet here. Yeah. The view's amazing. Mm, the you view. see Wakefield over there. And... Yeah, we did come here last summer, so if you want to know more about the castle, um, at the tower, should I say, it's called Castle Hill. Check out one of our videos from last year, I think the thumbnail and the title is Castle Hill. Um, but yeah, the views are pretty amazing here. How long we're staying? I'm very far off. Me too, it's freezing. Right. You're a good boy, aren't you? In kitchen. Mm. I'm always feeding mm. you. Um, ooh. Those potatoes are growing lots of things by the looks of it. So we're having steak, mashed tatties and Throw peas tonight. Nice, simple, oh, plain and simple. Whatever we had at lunch, I mean we had a sandwich didn't we? 
It's zonked me yeah, out. Yeah, we have two packets of crisps and two skinny bars. <laughs> That's probably what zonked us. We got back. I mean, the, the heat as well. It's been, it must have been about 25 degrees in the heat today. It's been bliss. Even the floor is warm. Came back and just zonked out. Well, I did. I did some work. And I just couldn't keep my hands up. So I had, I had snooze. I had snooze. I tried. Yeah. Having that foot fully feeling up. Like jumping out of my sleep. Well, I'm sure a beer will help you. Well, they help me yesterday. Uh, so, we're having this, and then we'll show you Edgar the Hoover upstairs. We're going to set him off hoovering the carpets upstairs. Yeah. We have it's tried it. done. Um, yeah, we've tried it's it a done our bit. bedroom, he just needs to do the landing now. And he does do stripe, doesn't he? Well, it, if you set him off straight, kind of. yeah. If you set him off at an angle, he kind of zigzags yeah, and then he turns around and he works around chair Ooh, legs. And we've just managed to get another too good to go, haven't we? It's too good to, <laughs> too good to be true. <laughs> Uh, we're on Discord and all our patrons, they're all getting them today. When I say all, they're like clearing the north out. <laughs> Daniel's had Costa, Hannah's had Costa, Jade's had Costa. So I, I just had a quick look, because we don't get that much around here to be fair. And uh, Cafe oh, Nero... No, we don't get that much around here, we've just had four so far. Cafe Nero was on there for tomorrow at five o'clock, so I like to Nick, do you really need it? Nick's like, get it, get it. And he did make a good point. Well, yeah, but it makes us say buying lunch then the we'll following day. We'll have lunch the following day, so Cafe Nero's going to be like, if it's anything like Costa, people have been getting toasters and um, like buns and stuff like that. So we'll just save it for the day after for lunch. No, Three pound pot beer on floor. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, that went yesterday's vlog or the day before the vlog. Um, too good to go app. So go and check it out. Yeah. Right. Creating I'm a marmite sauce for the steak. It's not a marmite sauce. It's marmite butter. I'm going to baste the steaks. They are already basted anyway in a garlic and chili, but. Cool. Um, this marmite go with it. Yeah, because it will. It in just fact, adds the saltiness get, to it. You can get chili marmite now, can't you? You've not tried it yet, but you can get it. I've seen it. Appeal to me, to be honest. I'll try it though. Marmite's quite strong as it is without adding salt to fire. Right, can you just stick that in the microwave for me? Lovely. Right. I'm going to show you what we finally got a spatula. Are they called spatulas? Uh, well, it's just, this is a spaghetti server, but. Oh, well, yeah. That, with that stain's going to be like old leather. Wait, I've turned it off. Oh. Well, I mean, I don't mind things well done. Yeah, but I want it edible. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Old boots. Be fine, be fine. It is much more civilised now, isn't it? Even at the table. It is much more civilised. Try that steak, I want to see what it's like. Ooh. See if it is like old leather. It better not be. Oh, it's a bit, it is a bit stretchy. I like meat well done. Oh, it's a little bit pinky middle, but that's nice. Mm. I can try it with a bit of mash. Come on, I want to sit down. You're not rushing me. Come on, no. rush, 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 rush. Mm. Nice. Very garlicky. Right, we're in the bedroom with Edgar. I'm going to tell him now to clean this room while we go and relax. Yeah, okay, go on. Tell Edgar to clean the apartment. Oi. Edgar, get your butt into gear. The bosses want this place cleaning up. Oh, you've been messing up, Lee. <laughs> and off he goes. Oh, he's going that way. Right, so he's making his first stripe. There we go. Oh, what's he going to do when he gets to? Oh, he's going to hit the car. Well, yeah, I don't know what he'll do with the curtains. He might get himself caught up in the curtains, actually. Oh, he's doing the same stripe again. Mapping out the room, isn't he? Well, what it does is it does the room and then it goes around the edges and, and, and like finalises on the edges. But this morning he got caught on the curtains. See, he saw the wall there, it's some kind of sensor on it. Now he's doing his next stripe. Oh, what's he doing? Right, so let me have a quick look on the app. Hold on. The, the room map, hold on. I do like the, the fact that he's uh, putting the stripes in the carpet. I just love that you can just leave it and just... There we go, look yeah. He's mapping out the room. Yeah. So we will actually let him do it. It will take about 25 minutes for him to do Ooh. it all. He just went over that. Oh yeah, he does do. He does. Right, let's leave him to it. Is he going to go over that again? Oh, I just love the stripes he's putting in. Good boy, Edgar. Good boy. Right, we'll leave it to it. I'm off on computer for a bit. He's going to go over it again. Oh, no, it's not. No, I'm not. He knows it's there. He's, he's currently mapping out the walls. Right, we'll have to get out of the way while he, while he just gets on with it. About a 55 minute charge. 
to, to do a room. So if you've got a massive room, obviously he's going to run out of charge. But his docking station's downstairs. Right. He thinks it's going to be up here. So if he runs out, he's going to go start oh, looking oh, for I'm it. I'm going quick. Oh, me too. We have a shout out to do. Nick is going to do it. Hello to Lisa West. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. And um, there we go. I can see on our Discord they're still talking about food. And um, but to be fair, that's all they ever talk about. Well, that's we do have a dedicated food room, but it yeah. spills over into every room. Yeah, right, he's done. Bless him. It's all stripy. Let's see how much he's picked up. Not too much, actually. No, we did do it this morning. Didn't we? I did do it this morning, so all the oh, all the heavy's off, but um, that's just been picked up for like yeah. 10 minutes running around there. I mean, he's not gonna get up like he's not, he's like not modern, modern, like, you know like what I mean? Dyson. but it's just. I just love how you just let it go. Yeah, but all you have to do is like two or three. Oh, have you just put that there? You just walk that in. No, I don't know. Um, You're going to go put him back on his docking yeah. ch charge now. Ch ch charge? Are you going to find it? let him find it itself or just plonk him on? I'll just plonk him there. Right, get in your basket. Go on. Get in. At least he doesn't poop her out like that. Well, yeah, yeah. He's searching, look. Go on, get in there, and stay there. ready the sun hasn't gone but we're going out anyway um it's still some blue sky i need some fresh air and to get some exercise right we're just dipping to a local um park which we've never been to before just for uh, as an exercise um what 12 degrees today yeah um, I've got my feels a bit nippy though. It does. So I've got my jeans on. Got my snacks. Nick's already had his. Uh, we're having uh, space raiders and spicy today. They're very nice. Um, see if we can get a little cup of tea or something like that and then back. Not for, where we're going. Uh, really, middle of nowhere. Yeah. Uh, back later to collect our tuk to go uh, from 5 pm from Cafe Nero. So that's a new one for us. So uh, we'll get, hopefully get some nice things for lunch tomorrow. And tonight I've got a Warzone game, so you have to find some for me today. I'll watch a movie, maybe. I don't know what yet. It's a little bit breezy, but so you got an ice cream to warm yourself up. <laughs> Everything's okay because we got an ice cream. Nice 99. Your flake didn't last long. It dropped off a lot. Right. Let's have a little explore of this park. How's your ice cream? <clears throat> not sweet, weirdly. It's creamy, but not sugary. Flake's nice though. That went, yeah. Right, ice cream was nice. Now on to us next snack. We got a cafe. We found a cafe. We never even thought out here that we'd find a cafe. So we've got a sausage roll to share. Cup of tea and a flat white. Cup of tea and a flat white. And the sun's come out. Little Robin's come to um, get the scraps of Nick's sausage roll. And it's still there? Yeah. Don't move. No, don't move. I'll go. Oh, he's, oh, he's gone. gone. Oh. Right, we're going to actually head back to the car, aren't we? I'm just admiring the daffodils. It's yeah. like a big sea of yellow and and just just a sign of spring. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall.
back. Nick's been busy while I've been editing. Right. Floors up. Skateboards off. Bath side off. This is upstairs now. So basically when the plumber comes, I want him to get that drain at low level so we can use a low profile shower tray. How we'll do that, no idea. And we now have to go to the bins to take all the tiles. And then, two after trips, that, three. maybe two or three trips, then we've got to go pick our Cafe Nero Too Good To Go up. Right, that's all dropped off at the uh, skips. Now we're going to go and get our Too Good To Go bag, which is from Cafe Nero. <laughs> Right. What we got, what we got. We have a berry granola Ooh, pot. Nice. And we have a, oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's <gasps> two slices oh of chocolate god. cheesecake. Oh my god. Wow. And then we also have a uh, ham and mozzarella panini. Mm. So that wasn't a bad little um, tool to go, I don't think. I'm just gonna take it all out and take a photo because my sister likes to see what I got. So, very granola. If these cheesecakes are still there by the time we go to bed, I'll eat my hat. And what do we do with these? How and what's going on? Do you have to heat them up or what? Well, we're not sure. Mm, I don't know. We'll see tomorrow. Right. It's hello, fresh time. Hello. Hello. Right, you do that. Hello, fresh. I'm having a bit of stinky cheese. Yeah. Um, barbecue mushroom in a bun, or fajita chicken. I've been, I've been avoiding this. Well, we're gonna do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We are doing it. Now this is what I weren't keen on. Sloppy burgers on sloppy bread and it's just gonna collapse the minute you bite that. No, 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 no you won't do that. And then, ooh, that looks nice. And then you've gotta share this out oh, between. This looks nice. And then you've gotta put it under um, grill until all the cheese kind of. Slap it on, come on, tickling it. You know what I mean, until the cheese, oh look, it's, it's coming off. Just slap it on. Shut up. This looks delicious. Is this parsley? Yes, yes, yes. Mmm, yes. Not bad looking, it looks a little convinced. sloppy. I'm not convinced, this is what's putting me off the sloppiness. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna eat it as a burger. No, probably not, I will actually. I'm surprised they call it burger. I imagined that I was gonna have to get my hands into the mushroom and like form a burger that's, patty, but. That's why I didn't wanna cook it, because I thought no. we'd have to do that. Right, let's get some sauce and then wedges. Need a bit of whipping cream. I knew these wouldn't last. Excuse me, you were sat here before me. Let's just try them though. I don't know what it is. Well, it's chocolate with toffee or caramel in and a chocolate base. A bit cheesecake. Okay, isn't it? Mm. It's nice. It's cheesecake, yeah. Whatever it is, it's nice. <coughs> The battery. Right, it's almost time for me to play on Warzone. I've banished Nick to the bedroom. But before I go play, I'll go and see what he's doing. Battery's flat on this. Charge it then. Go on then. I ain't got a charger. Uh, You've nicked it for your Kindle. I'm looking up shower trays. That's nice. Well, I'm gonna go and play on Bye. Warzone. Hello. Bye. Bye. Right, I finished my war game games. It went on quite late tonight. It's about half past ten. Um, Keep the noise down. Had some good games. Came first, um, all thanks to our teammate Tommy. Um, so Nick's almost asleep. I'm going to bed. Okay, keep my eyes open. We'll see you on the next vlog. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. Hit the subscribe button if you're new around here. And we'll see you in the next vlog, whenever that is. Um, what, what's happening tomorrow? The next Vanity Unit gets delivered tomorrow. Okay. And that is it. It's coming between 9 and 11, so it's morning delivery, so it means we can go out walking in the afternoon. Interesting. See you guys on the next vlog. Bye. Thank you.